everyone. Welcome back to hashtag Jackoween. It's that time of year and I'm so excited to be doing Halloween tutorials for you guys. If you remember last year I did a bunch of Disney villains which was so much fun to do. Definitely check those out if you missed it. And this year I am doing The Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite, favorite movies ever. And I'm starting off this series with the Pumpkin King. So right in the beginning, you see the Pumpkin King as they're singing like the intro song. So that's the look we're gonna do today. And no, of course I'm not naked. I'm wearing a shirt. First step though is to block out our eyebrows. We want to hide those and get rid of those. And I do have a link in the cards for you guys for a detailed tutorial on how to do that. So I don't wanna waste too much time in this video. So click that video if you wanna find out how to block your brows. And then we can move on to the next step, which is putting on a bald cap. This is my first time ever putting on a bald cap, so I may not be a pro, but I just got this one off of Amazon. It's a large one because I've got a large head, but you just wanna place it on, and usually like people trim around the edges, but I decided to just leave it because I'm painting everything all black anyways, and I'm just using spirit gum to glue it down onto my skin. Make sure you don't put any of the spirit gum on your actual hair because it will hurt if you rip it off, so. Just be cautious. So now we are looking crazy, but we're gonna take a white eyeliner now and sketch out and create the design that we're going to be painting on our face. So I'm sketching out the shape of the pumpkin and then the little stem on top. And then I'm gonna go in to sketch out the nose, eyes, and mouth. And for this, I just have a picture on the side on my laptop for reference, so I'm just looking over at that. And then once we have the sketch complete, we can go in and start painting. So I have this new palette from Mayron. It's water activated colors, which I'm not really used to. This is my first time playing around with it and I actually love, love, love it. It's so much easier than the paints that I've used years prior. Like this just, this is a game changer right here. So I'm starting off with the orange shade and painting in the orange part of the pumpkin. Whenever you do like face painting stuff, you always wanna start with the lighter colors first and then move your way into the darker colors. So black will obviously be the last color that we use. So to use this palette, you have to actually spray some water on it to actually make it work. So I'm spraying water into the palette and then taking my brush and then painting. It's kind of like water painting, watercolor painting on your face basically. So now I'm just working on some of the details. So like these little lines that shape out the pumpkin. I, mm, I did not like how this turned out. So I go in later and fix it, but we're just, we're just going to leave that for right now. So now it's time to fill in the black for the eyes, nose, and mouth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the body part of this look, which makes me really nervous and uncomfortable because when it comes to body painting on my actual body, like, uh, it's not my strongest skill. So I am going to create like the very skinny neck that he has and then um, his shoulders, like his like little shirt thingy that he has. And once we paint like all the negative space, like the outside part black, it kind of disappears into the background. So it gives the illusion that our neck is like itty bitty and then like our shoulders are a lot lower than they really are. So I'm just creating that and going in to add details and more colors to try to make it look as realistic as possible. Now I'm going back in to fix the details at the top of the pumpkin, this like little crease marks right here. I'm gonna fix those up and then also add some details on the stem. So I'm adding in some white to add some highlights, some green, just to add more color, depth, and dimension. So we're just about done with this look. I'm just finishing up with some more details and colors on the shirt and then I'm also going to add a little bit of like a rope detailing around the neck because the Pumpkin King did have rope around his neck. So, oh, that sounds so creepy. So I'm gonna just draw some black lines across my neck and then put white and gray and brown just to kind of like mix them together, add the little bit of dimension. So that was just a super quick, easy little detail to add. And that completes the Pumpkin King look. 
my first look in my Nightmare Before Christmas series. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments which character would you like to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!